Oh my fucking god, the Pega drivers. 2.49 am. Sliding in between. <laughs> I could get love, yeah. Oops. Oops, just going sideways. <laughs> he looked like he was a donor. Imagine lying in your bed. Imagine lying in your bed. I need to see this one. The crash. He's, He's a donor as well. What is it coming in the window? Let's just crush. I think there's continuous driving Giga <laughs> Good one. This is Red Nail. Oh, nice pants. I have to ask a serious question. Has anyone in chat had pants like that is even close to this? Is there anyone in chat that has used pants that is something similar to this? Me? Have you? That's all I wear? No, you didn't. I did. Okay. How fucking dumb are all of you who just said yes? Huh? The fuck is this? This is... You can't wear this! None of you! Cubsters! Dookie! The fuck? Huh? Not with that attitude you can. And there's so f I saw more! Wait. I saw more! Chimpanzer? No, you said Knut did. 2004? No, 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 it isn't allowed! You know what, actually? It's forbid- from now on, these pants are forbidden. And if someone wears them, they're going to be fined. Thousand dollar fine for wearing these pants. Let's be real, remember the 1990s, 2000 pants? The large thin with a lot of colors. I'm 100% sure you wear, uh, wear one when you got the big, show us a picture. 
What, what kind of pants is that? That's the only pants my Giga Chest legs fits in. I'll send you a pair of N Jinkos. Is this true that they're wearing these pants again? But, but is it true that this is fashion again? Oh my fucking god, this is stupid. Good job. You can't compare it to this because this is fucking workout pants. They're ugly AF as well. But you can't compare this. This is ugly AF, and yes, this is this has never been fashion. Oh. Ooh. Uh, why is this? He needs to do a r sharp turn. This is get cold, that AF. On fuck, it didn't even drive fast. How can you do that with a pickup truck in that speed? Crash the car. Oh my goodness. And no, not Holy anything serious, no. Yeah. Damn it. Oh my goodness, oh my soul. Oh. I can tell you the one time I remember or I when I was working I crashed two times. I was driving one time. I was driving out. You can see there was a street going that way when when a bigger drawing. So, I was coming onto this from a parking house right there. I was driving out. And this, this is where I was supposed to drive, right? The car is a little bit wider. Let's say, or at least I was going in this direction. And there was a car coming here, and he was supposed to go in to the parking garage. But, when I was driving here, I, I managed to come up here. Because he cut the corner, he was going... And he didn't cut it that much. But instead of driving, like, like he su was supposed to, and turn in there. He drove and he cut over here. So when we met, I hit the side of him. And since this was a parking, it's always your fault. That's the problem. Because you have to wait for cars on this road no matter fucking what. Doesn't matter, it was a company car. So I didn't pay shit. The company had to. He cut. Yeah, he did. Because if they, uh, because if they cut you off, how can you even dodge that? Hey, well, you have to stand still and wait. That's how they can. That's the only way. You just have to wait, parked here, until he has healed the right way. Yeah. Even though he should have been driving like this. That's the last time I crashed that I can remember. Is it a person is leaving the parking lot's fault? Who's at fault? Yes. And it would be really hard to prove. It would be really hard to prove that, oh, he wasn't driving exactly where he should, right? He was cutting a little bit because yeah, the cars are moved, so he would probably not say that anyway. I don't. I think it is, since Yield Away says I have to wait for cars in this row, it is my fault.
Thank you.